This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow me back here with another episode of Our World is Ended. In the last episode, we finished Chapter 12 into Chapter 13, making a declaration that we will fight Lab 13 on our own because they are stealing the idea from our game. Yeah, nothing so noble as in saving Tokyo, just that they've stolen the idea for our game. I know it's more than that, but it seems so shallow when you think about it. Truly, this game, all these people are terrible people in real life, so... Anyway, let's, uh, now we just gotta figure out what a how, how to do it, actually do it. Maybe that's what we'll find out now. The sky trees flickering meant we needed to hurry. The capital disappearance operation has happened for real, so it's not like the country's in trouble. However, it's a clear effect on society. I find it hard to believe that Kashuk and Lab 13 are unrelated to the JK incident. To verify that, we need to go to the New World. Why the Waysa guy? How do you plan to get to the New World? Will you bring the exit line to the Waysa guy? Yeah, if only it was that easy. I actually can't do that anymore. According to Warsong, Cafe Exit's line is completely cut off from the outside. When we when we dove in to save Rainisan, the Gucci's had opened the line to lure us in. Miyabi-san and D.I.H. told us to stay out of this, so of course they don't didn't leave any room for any hacking. Then what do we do? We can't go to the new world if we don't connect to Akashic. We could just find Lab 13 and shoot them all up. You know, like a first-person shooter? That'd be kind of fun. And I used to make fun of first-person shooters all the time, but, you know, I'd rather be doing that. Exactly. That's one thing we should... that we should infil... I think we should infiltrate Cafe Exit and use their Reich North line to go to the New World. If it's impossible to track from the outside, we should try accessing it for the cafe. Oh, oh so we're infiltrating enemy territory. That's quite bold. But, but I mean, is the AH really enemy territory? I mean, I won't let it be. Well, depending on who you talk to, any government body is an evil organization. We have PCs and MWGs right here with us. Let's go straight to the Cafe Exit, shall we? At this point? Just as he says, we have everything we need to connect to Akashic. Isn't it kind of late, though? I mean, we're still fired up thanks to the judgment pose. We're, we'll, we just go straight to the cafe exit. Would miyabi -san be there at this point? Is she the only one that runs this place now that Noguchi is in there? 15 minutes away from the Sumida River, we arrive at the building that has the entrance of the cafe exit. How, how do we infiltrate it? Asana-san asked a pretty obvious question. Up until now, we entered this place thanks to Mi Miyabi-san or Noguchi. To, to start to wonder, I started to wonder if the, mission, if the mission's even possible without her here, but Awari-san didn't look troubled at all. I'll connect to the cafe's wireless lamp from here. I'll take over their security and ruin the lock. It's less than five minutes worth of work for me and Tachinka. Says it calmly, but there's a bit of a problem with that. So, we will access a network unauthorized to enter a building illegally, huh? Yep. Natsumi-san frowns worriedly. Worriedly. Everyone else was thinking the same thing I was, and leaves it leaves us all a bit confused. Right, though it is to set a fire on thirst for justice, we will now break the law. Breaking the law! Breaking the law! I am definitely not going to do a heavy male scream, because that would screw me up my throat something awful. And most of all... This will be an act of war towards Lab 13. I can't imagine what will happen. Uh, I can't guarantee our safety. I won't blame any of you for backing out of this. In fact, the me wants you to do just that. Warisan loves Judgment 7 and wishes to protect it. He wants us to leave so that we don't have to do anything dangerous. <laughs> it's a bit too late to act cowardly, don't you think? Don't understand. Don't underestimate this guy. Though his words are tough, his voice is shaky. However, he's looking at a Warisan with a serious expression and a strong will in his eyes, which are covered by his sunglasses. But still! They treat us like a joke up until now. You are a joke. I'm not going to just sit on my hands and let them eat and get away with it. You kind of have for a long time in this story. Probably because I haven't been choosing correct responses with you, maybe. Well, sure, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. I'd be more angry. That's why I'll be going ahead. I'm super angry, too. I can't let our game be used for bad things. That's why I'll fight. Same here. Alright. Also, we've already made that embarrassing post. <laughs> I'd probably curse myself forever if I run away right now. I'll do it too. If we get North's back guys, I'll punish them and make them say sorry. By spanking them? 
Well, you got the you got the leads to being a dominatrix there, Todd Tachinka. Everyone speaks from renovations. Then they look at me. Welcome. Leave me alone. I'm just that the MC. Anyway, we're Judgment, judgment 7, 7 because there's seven of us. Let's do it, Awari-san. Let's show them what this weekly Jackson game company is made of. I don't think they called you weekly. I think they just called you terrible because you made yeah, sure half you your games were terrible. <laughs> but boy, weekly is unnecessary. His words don't show up, but it's clearly that he's overcome by strong emotion. Yep, sure is. I'm proud of y'all. We're the greatest team. All right, well, I don't know. Uh, the Avengers, Justice League, uh, the Investigation Team, the Midnight Society Hour. Uh, no. um, all right, let's track another judgment pose, too. Forget about that. Just hurry. If someone sees us, they'll think we're up to something. I think Asana's not speaking for all the rest of us here. Uh, I guess we should avoid saying it for now. Jinka, you ready? Yeah, Tatiana activates her handheld PC and prepares to do the work. But Warisan nods in satisfaction, opens the PC, and grins. <laughs> all right, let's begin. With those words as a signal, Tatiana starts typing at incredible speed. She needs her chocolate bar, though. We all watch as the two get serious and start hacking. We are playing the hacking song, hacking song, hacking song. This is the hacking song. I'm not a musician. Four minutes pass after they begin. There, it's unlocked. We well, did say it within five minutes. Tatiana concludes her, concludes her typing with the press of the internet key. The door in the wall slides open, revealing the entrance to Cafe Exit. Just as the san said, they were done within just five minutes. All right, let's go inside. I don't think there's anyone inside, but still, be careful. So, I mean, would this line be the one where it's, like, same time inside, the same time in the game, as well as outside, or is it going to be the whole, you know, originally intended? In, the inside of the cafe is completely silent. I'm used to Miyabi-san welcoming me that... Miyabi-san's welcome that this is, feels strange. We confirm that no one's here and separate device to prepare for the New World experience. You'd think they would have a couple of people watch this place while Miyabi-san left, you know, just, just in case, but... We all equipped our new world goggles and finish up all we have to do. What are we in the final stages of the game now? Wait, what do we even do when we go to the new world? I mean, there's no point just randomly walking around there, right? We have a goal, of course. Our prime objective this time is to find Raina. Ichirei, but did she lose her memory day the last time we were there? Shouldn't she be gone, right? Well, no, she said she'd stay around as long as they had her data. When their data is completely purged, then yeah, she'll disappear, but I guess at this point they haven't done that yet. She sadly recalls her parting moments with her anus on. Uh, perhaps, but there should still be some traces. Piece of information about Akashic or Lab 13. We'll start by fighting that. We don't have nearly enough info to fight Lab 13 right now. So our goal this time is to find the weapon that we can use against them. Oh, okay, so this chapter is let's get the info. Uh, probably chapter 14. I was... Well, you know, when I, I think when I first started this game, I assumed chapter 12 was when we were going to get to the end of it. Obviously, I'm wrong now, but... So at this point, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe 15 or 16 chapters, maybe... God, this game is longer than expected, or this game, novel is longer than expected. I see we can't just fight Lab 13, but just reach the new world. We'll have to start by gathering info. All right, I get it. We'll, we'll have a, at most six hours for this operation. That means six days in the new world. Tajinka set a timer. Great, the land will be cut six hours after we dive. We'll all be back in reality. Finally, someone comes with the idea to find a way to kick us out without being stuck in there. Jesus. You idiots. If we fail, we go back, reorganize, and go to the new world again. Warsan learned from last time, well, from the time when we were trapped in the new world. The fact that we have a means of getting out now is reassuring. All right, let's get the program started. World program, stand by. Beep boop bop, beep boop bop, bop. All right, who's gonna do the voice command? Could you leave it to me this time? The one to volunteer first was Aruka-san. <laughs> A recap, but the program didn't recognize the last time I tried it. Yeah, it'd be quite tiring if your voice was too weird for the program to register it. Oh yeah, the first time we had the New World Experience, the one that said the voice command was a Rukasan, but he didn't say it in a recognizable way. Hey, don't worry, I'm the type to never repeat the same mistake twice. I've actually been secretly training how to do the perfect voice command. He's, he sure is proud of that. I'm sure he, I'm, I'm glad he knows that he's the problem. Really? Well, then let's just, then let's just let Aruka do it. 
Back. Leave it to me, Sakai. My father will work better will work to lead you all to the new world. Rukasan takes a deep breath. Although barely, the program recognized it. And we all head to the virtual reality. Yeah, I'm not going to let the game play his voice dialogue. <laughs> Upon arriving at the new world, we all leave cafe exit. Uh-oh, JK Marks everywhere. JK Rowling is here. She's going to turn all the, all the main characters into different persuasions. Because that makes sense, doesn't make sense with the story. No, I, I don't, sorry, I, I didn't mean to say that. Just That's a joke online apparently right now. Once outside, we realize that something's wrong. The walls, windows, paths, the signs, event, everything has JK marks on them. Uh, the, di the distant sky tree is also flickering. They all start reading it. The one who finishes the first this time is the son of son. Tokyo will be destroyed tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? Why, well, should be a week, right? Well, won't it technically be... Well, it will be a week, right? Because we're in the game world for a week, but... Anyway. Sis, look at your phone. The date is weird. Whoa! We all take out and look at our phones. The JK mark is the first thing I notice, and at the edge, there's today's date. That's weird. We left on the evening of the 12th. Why is it 60 days ahead now? What's going on here? Uh, so this is... This is the world... So this is a world where there's only a day left and a couple of disappearance? It's ahead of the real world. Akasha couldn't even do that, huh? So basically, we, we're, we're... Okay, maybe 16 chapters may have been too, uh, too generous for this. What? The, the single day it's left means the communications network is destroyed and the city's functions are completely paralyzed. The Judgment Knights will soon take over the main systems and the missile facilities. That means we have to just beat Lab 13 with online the day. That's kind of... Oh, well, that's... Talk about talk about uh talk about upping upping the ante. Of course, that only applies to the virtual world. However, not now that we saw the flickering on the sky tree, we can't guarantee that won't happen in the real world as well. This virtual world is showing us what that we could never what we never would have expected. Never we we could never have expected. Anyway, let's look around. First, let's find something that could lead us to Rena Sun. Have you noticed that ever since Haruna's instead she frowns more and acts kind of serious? Even if she talks the way she does, so I don't know. I guess it's I'll give the game credit for doing some slight differences with certain character models. Although I think Yuna is really the only one that's done that with. But anyway, we nod and start looking around Asakusa. Actually, there's quite a few characters in the game that haven't really changed or haven't really grown too much. Like I mean, Yuna might be. I mean, okay, not Sumi too. I guess to a lesser extent, but really Yuna is probably. Her scene tra changed her the most out of all the characters. Although maybe that's because I didn't choose the right things to maybe focus on her. So maybe the change, maybe she changed a lot more, or there would have been, or some of the other characters. But I don't know. After a while looking around, we arrive at the Roku. It too is covered in JK marks. They're here too. I know these are from our game. But seeing the light, this doesn't feel so good. <laughs> uh, video, video games are what you do to go when you want to enjoy something out of the ordinary. They're interesting because they're impossible in reality, so so when it does actually happen, it just feels like nonsense. Well, I agree with that. He's right about that. Things like war, zombie apocalypses, world any threats, etc. can only be enjoyed safely in the con context of fictional video games. Even if war and fighting games are popular, those who play them aren't necessarily wall rongers or fighters. Huh, it's almost like the American government is stupid right now. Sorry, there's some, at the time of this recording, the, uh, some, of the, uh, some of the people in my own government are, are saying stupid shit right now. Ugh, pissing me off. And it's our job to present those fictions as electronic entertainment. And the idea that there are people who use that for evil isn't pleasant. As, as we all share troubled expressions, our surroundings suddenly change. The world instantly loses its color. Yeah, what's this? What's happening? The color's all gone from the town. It's not just the town. The ground and even the sky become monochrome. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. I know. I'll take a photo. Despite the natural happening, she just on her nonchalance. Nonchalance takes out her phone and notices a new change. Huh? Is my phone broken? It's not working at all. Even the clock has stopped. Doop doop. The other members, myself included, check their own phones. Hey, my phone clock has stopped too. Same here. It's, it's completely frozen. What's going on here? The phone is in the same state. 
Uruka saw never did take out his phone. He's looking at the grayscale town town with a strange expression. It's phenomenal. It can't be. That definitely is. This is clearly time intervention. What's that supposed to be? It's a time stopping ability that stops even late photons. However, I should be the only one capable of using it. Okay, you dork. So you're, so you're the only idiot here. Asana-san's comment doesn't really reach Ruka-san's ears. He's still thinking about something with a serious face. Who besides we would be able to use time intervention? Oh? Huh? Wait, is it him? The moment he realizes, the moment he realizes something. <laughs> I don't even know who it's supposed to be. A nihilistic cloud sound resounds around us. What's that voice? Hey, hey, what's the that's going to laugh? Lag? She said laugh, not laugh. L A U G. It's L A G, L A U G H. Ding. Stop hiding. Stop hiding and show yourself. She shouts confidently, but she's just hiding behind me. Oh, look there, everyone. Y'all face the direction she's pointing at. Whoa! Effeminate man, ho! Nah, it's a. It, if it's an RPG based on setting, of course the main character is an effeminate angel, de devil, Sephiroth type of character. There's a person standing ahead in a monochrome Roku. He's tall, clad in a long coat, winged like ornaments on his back. Good gracious, how gaudy can you be? Um, uh, I grant you all the right to approach me. Oh no, that's not. That's the Valley Girl voice. I'm trying to think of it. I grant you all the right to approach me, honey. Eh, do I really want to do that voice? Hmm. The mysterious man speaks with an air of arrogance. Man, we just keep being weirds, huh? A son son size. But he's letting us approach him. It can't be that bad, right? You know, you should bl shouldn't bleep people so easily. Hell. <laughs> hey, well, the fact that he's granting us the right to approach him already makes him seem like a haughty bastard or a douche. No. Asana's not towards the, towards the man. Hey, you idiot. If you got something to say, then come to, come to us. Or what? Don't you have the guts? Do, 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 do you have it? Guts! Idiot. Asana, don't provoke him. Rukusan hastily tries to stop Asana san. Actually, when he talked about time. I'm surprised they didn't make a JoJo's reference with time stopping abilities, you know. Oh well, anyway. Or however it goes. What, you know this guy? She nods. Or she nods. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, so he's another one of your game characters. Then she makes a confused face. But we did we even make a character with such a freaky laugh? I don't remember him. <laughs> I'm not telling you to provoke him. Rukasan pleads her, but he, she doesn't seem to understand. Kick it, kick it, kick it. Kick it, kick it. Very well, then I shall come to you. I don't even know if that's the voice I want to do. A moment later, he vanishes. <laughs> eh? He's gone. I'm here, you ignorant. Maybe we should do a deep voice? Nah, I'll do the, I'll do the uh, kind of high pitched voice. Right I'm here, you ignorant fools. Uh, the visual K-Rock band vocalist like Persona is clad in black, tall, and has long hair. He's definitely handsome, but more than that, he looks just just, just looks shady. Kind of cringeworthy, too. Oh, yeah, I'll agree on the cringe. Oh, he's kind of, kind of hard to look at from up close. Why are you wearing that in summer? It's a force that makes me cringe. I know. He's a rock and roller. I saw sign you, saw both share their opinions. So you really are, but, but how? Aruka-san's large body is shaking, really hard in fact, like a bowl full of jelly. Yeah, who are you anyway? Kick 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 See, you wish to annoy me? Ah, very well, I shall tell you. Each and into your souls. I'll swallow your soul! Good lord, my voice is about to throw out. I'll definitely have to take a break from recording after this. The mysterious man looks to the side and places his hand on his face. It's a really narcissistic-like pose. Yeah, I've seen that in anime before. My name is Ikaruga, the great king of the violent flame. Oh lord, he is an RPG. Huh? Ikaruga, who? I don't know either. I never heard of this character. Asasa and Yusan Tatiana all tilt their heads. Naturally, there's no way I can know a character that even or that they even don't know. Ikaruga F. Samurai? Natsumi-san mutters. And Nazumi-san, you know this character? I look at the mysterious man again. 
Now that I think about it, he does look like a character you draw, but he's a bit uncool. Is he a failure? No, he's not from our games. She instantly denies that idea. The what is the what is it? No, the what is he? Well, he well, how do I explain this? I should be the one to do it. As the Tsumi Sun ponders, Ruka san speaks up. Uh, Ikaruga is Sumeroski, the king of the realm, playing master of the scar and blue players. He has the time and a richer ability, and his magic is limitless. A mysterious entity with overwhelming charisma that can charm all the creatures of this world. Is it a man, a god, or perhaps a devil? Nay, he is the true of yours truly, Ruka number two. Ugh. That's gross. He throws his fist to the air. As we suddenly wonder how to react, Natsumi-san gives her conclusion. Well, that's what Ukuruga thinks anyway. Oh, so it's just another setting he created. He applied his delusion crafting even to himself. Looks like he's even more of a man child than I thought. Yeah, usually terrible writers like to write themselves into their stories. Yeah, if you're going to be a writer, folks, don't do that. If you do that, don't make yourself the main character and make yourself not perfect. Like, a lot of writers who do that make themselves... Uh, Gary Stews or Mary Stews, uh, no matter, you know, the same thing where they're like practically perfect. You know, like, you can write yourself in the story if you want, but just remember basic writing and rules and everything like that. You know, character and all that are fun stuff. I'm slightly shocked, uh, but honestly, I feel like this is really like him. Oh, no, I finally remember. Aruka uh, often used that name when he'd send it on all sorts of public websites. He even has his own site. I'm not sure it's called uh, Revelations of the Violent Empire or something. Deep Purple Apocalypse! It contains the records of all the battles added my current exit. Er, I don't know why I was doing Rage of Joys there for a second. It contains the records of all the battles added my current existence. And it has the story of the awakening of the King of the Violent Flames living within me! He lo he's lost in his own world again. If he, we were really in the world right, reality right now, he'd surely have the cops called on him. Man, am I glad this is a virtual world. Oh, I get it. I get it. It's what every man-child does. I'm the strongest there is and all that. Is this a Karuga guy? Is what you aspire to be, huh? Asana-san looks at Aruka-san and Ikaruga. That's hilarious. That's funny. I don't care you all. That's funny. No. She bursts out laughing. Huh? But just rules. You right to speak. Speak such irreverence. Irreverence. I am not going to do the same voice for both of them. I think both of them talk about it at the same time. Um, don't compare me with this flesh bag. It's displeasing. The stone is thick with dissatisfaction. Girl, how dare you talk with the boy about the original? Original, hilarious! Aren't you the one who called me your true form? That means that you're merely temporary. Which makes mm, the real one. Kick, 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 kick. Kind of reminds me of a character from Dragon Ball Super. No, huh, he's actually right. How do I respond to that? How does he respond to that? How will we deal with this practically perfect being in every way? I think Sherry po Mary Poppins will have a word with us and, this, and Disney's lawyers. Find out next time in the next episode of Our World is Ended. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.